today. Today we are discussing border crossings. There are two types of border crossings which are of focus at this time. The first involves the initial border crossing after approval for residency abroad at the U.S. Embassy. The second is the border crossing when returning to the United States from a trip abroad while a resident of the United States. As to the initial border crossing, at the final interview, the consul will approve the application for residency and hand the investor a precious sealed envelope with the approval notice. Along with the investor's immediate family, the sealed envelope must be presented to any Department of Homeland Security official at any approved port of entry, such as at an international airport, seaport, or land post within four months of the interview. The immigration officer will open the envelope, assess its authenticity, and then stamp the passports of the entrance with a red I-551 stamp to demonstrate lawful entry into the United States. The actual residency cards will be received in the mail approximately three months thereafter. The second entry concerns those investors who have become residents of the United States, however, are either away for long periods of time or experience high frequencies of absence. For individuals who fall into this category, it is essential that they carry an up-to-date binder with documents which demonstrate that they intend to remain residents of the United States. Such documents include U.S. tax returns, real estate tax bills, current credit card charges, evidence of family continually living in the United States, etc. This empowerment binder will allow the officer to review the residency in a better light with regard to the intent of the green card holder to remain a resident of the United States. Each investor should ensure that he or she retain a valid passport and a return airline ticket to the United States. Thank you.